Dior's men's jaw-dropping pyramid presentation of its fall men's 2023 collection was uh, guided by the stars, which is what they called it. It was a spectacular, uh, by design, the last surviving wonder of the ancient world, the Pyramid of Khufu, floating above a line deeply inspired by futurism. The models, swathed in flowing grays and pops of sunset fire, seem to have been transported from a Dune-esque planet. Celestial coats, reflective visors, and what appeared to be oxygen masks enhance sci-fi surrealism. Stars of the human variety also gazed from the assembly. Robert Pattinson, uh, Pattinson uh, Cha Inwoon, Daniel Kalua, and an ageless Naomi Campbell. This visual link between past, present, and future was, of course, the intent of Kim Jones, Dior's men's creative director. We are certain that queers will love this collection. Question number three, with a Bacardi shot, I'd swallow that. The Dior men's fashion show makes me want to go to Egypt. Makes you want to go to Egypt. Um, okay, no. I'm already going sure. to Egypt, and yeah. if they're there, why not? Sure. All right, let's do it. Yeah I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm with you. The fashion show itself doesn't want, make me want to go to Egypt. You know, being able to see the Great Pyramids, you know, the men, you know, the culture, the men. Um, the culture of the men. The culture the of, men. of the men and with the men. The smell. But the and the men. <laughs> Did I mention the men? Yeah. Because yeah. Middle Easterns, you know, are beautiful men. What do we think about Dior? Is I, Dior something that's in front front and center for us today? Is it where I think we're, that the clothing line is atrocious. I hate I, I think it's terrible. But I think the idea of having like kind of a circuit party out in the desert with like pulsing beats and the way that they have the projections on there, amazing. Um, it looked would, like a Pink Floyd album. Didn't I it? would love it. Looked, it, 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 looked, it looked, right? Yeah. Did it? Look like that? I totally did. And I also think just on a little deeper note, um, having things that are queer adjacent, even though a fashion show is not necessarily queer, to be in a city like that and to be in that, um, I think is amazing, which is kind of what another topic, the Beyonce thing in, in the Arab world. I'm like, the more you can put LGBT culture and adjacent culture into these countries is awesome. So You know how people were mad about Rebel Wilson going to Dubai mm -hmm. when Beyonce opened the, the hotel because of their lack of LGBTQ plus rights, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. um, and so I understand what you're saying when it comes to that, you know? But so I agree with you. Oh my God, I'm agreeing with you. Oh my God, what? So, I'm agreeing with Trini, you know? So, but to Thanks bring that, Trini. it's true to people that probably would never have seen that. You know, I like the fashion show. I like the clothes. I love the inclusivity, the gender non-conforming kind of, you yeah. know, these gray dresses. I love the jackets, you know? But I'm really into all that crazy crap, you yeah. know? So, but, so I love the whole entire thing. And I thought that it was really well made. And Christian Dior is a yeah. name. Yeah. It's not like saying fubu boo boo, you know? This is... <laughs> Christian freaking Dior. Wait, tell me again. Did you say Fubu Fubu? Fubu, Fubu. Fubu. <laughs> 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 you like shit on Fubu. Right? No, I have Fubu. nothing to do with Fubu. Love you, so, Fubu. So Lightning is about to strike three times because I totally agree. I, I love the fact of, A, the, the montage, yes. Elimination Trinity. and Faye agree. Yeah, it's going to be, yeah. Like, like, Lightning is going to strike we, somewhere. We go, yeah, yeah, like, like, quit. Let me go with that. Quit the show. So, 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 A, the, the montage of the beauty of the models, first and foremost. I mean, the and all that gray and then have that that... The melanin standout was amazing, first and foremost. Secondly, the taking back the history and the culture saying, hey, queer belongs here. We're going to put it in your face. We have a place here. We're, we're not going anywhere on the backdrop of what often is destroyed by hate. You know, the space was destroyed because they thought their noses were too not adjacent to what they thought was beautiful. Queer people were not beautiful. And so have that on front and center and then make people love it. I totally agree with you. I yeah. think that that makes it makes the realization that queer culture is here to stay. Yeah. I LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ plus community.